maji ni uhai si ndio kwa hivyo leo tumeshirikiana pamoja na marafiki zetu wa Lake Basin Development Authority tuko na ndugu yangu CEO wana Wickliff amekuja na timu yake kutoka Kisumu kuhakikisha tumeleta maji katika community yetu ya Keumbu na hapa Kianchere ili watu wetu waweze kupata maji hii mambo ya wamama kutuma watoto kwenda kuchota maji huko tumekataa mama anatuma mtoto anaenda kwa mto kuchota maji na kibuyu mtoto anarudi jioni nyumbani kibuyu tutungo imejaa maji na mna hii hii mambo tumekataa na mimi nilimwambia rais wetu mheshimiwa William Ruto na mnajua nilimleta hapa nimemleta mara mbili wakati ile ya kwanza alikuja hapa eh, Kegati nikamweleza tukiwa Nairobi kwamba mheshimiwa rais sisi watu wa nyariba richache tuko na shida ya maji na hii shida ya maji tuko na maji yetu hapa Kegati lakini ni uchungu kwamba sisi watu wetu hawapati hiyo maji kama namna gani kwa hivyo na mimi nikaweka msimamo kama kiongozi nikasema hiyo maji ambayo iko hapa Kegati wale ambao wanapata ni watu kutoka Bonchari watu kutoka eh, South Mogirango Bobasi lakini nikasema sio mbaya wapate kwa sababu ni ndugu zetu hata mama mheshimiwa anatoka huko Bonchari lakini nikasema kwanza nyumbani watu wetu wapate maji na haiwezekani wengine wapate na sisi watu wetu wakose kwa hivyo tukate hiyo pipe wakose na sisi tukose rais akasema hapana wacha tutahakikisha tumeleta maji na county government imepeanwa sasa shilingi milioni tatu ya kuhakikisha maji inasambazwa katika kaunti ya Kisi na haswa hapa Nyaribari chache na ndio maana leo nimekubali nilisema tushirikiane hiyo maji ambayo ni ya county government haijafika bado tunaongoja pipes juzi PS wa maji alitupatia pipe ya karibu milioni ishirini lakini hizo pipes ambazo zilipeanwa na smart meters ni zile pipes ambazo kidogo haziwezi kufanya hiyo kazi kwa hivyo niliandika barua na tunaongoja hiyo pipes zikuje tuhakikishe na tumeona mama ako hapa uh, CEO wetu wa Gwasco tutashirikiana na mama wetu Lucy tuhakikishe kila kijiji ambaye iko hapa Nyaribari watu wapate maji maendeleo sio barabara peke yake na mashule maendeleo pia tunataka kuhakikisha tuone kila kijiji watu wako na afya njema watu wako na maji na tuweze kusonga mbele This is a journey we began uh, early in the year when uh, we had a conversation with uh, the Honorable Zahir Janda. Uh, we talked about uh, how to better the lives of the people of this constituency. And one thing that came out loudly was the need to address water in this particular area of the constituency. And we mobilized for resources. Uh, Moshiwea, I want to say thank you so much for mobilizing the resources and ensuring that we got money to have this project implemented here. It is one of the projects that we are doing across uh, the 18 counties where we operate. And uh, basically what we are doing is to integrate our programs to ensure that we improve the livelihoods of the people living within the Lake Victoria catchment area. Now this project uh, will have direct impact to 7,000 households within here. And uh, it has been designed in a way that we have four collection points. Uh, we have one uh, at the second school. We have another one at primary. Uh, we'll be having a collection point for the community and also to address the needs of our special schools also around this area. Now, in terms of sustainability, we have a community uh, management team, the Water Management Committee, who were appointed here by the community. Uh, they have been trained both on technical matters, on management of uh, water resources, and also on financial sustainability to ensure that even after we hand over this project, it will be able to be managed in a manner that uh, when there is a breakdown, 
there should be a mechanism on how to replace and also extend the connectivity in terms of last mile to those who have not received it to date. Uh, we hope that uh, we are going to feed into the presidential directive of uh, 15 million trees and we encourage those who already have water, the primary, the secondary and also the community to ensure that we have tree nurseries, uh, we grow trees, not just planting, but ensuring that we are able to monitor their growth to maturity and that then will uh, ensure that we conserve our environment, increase the rain and then we are able to do a lot of farming around. Uh, why did we choose uh, having water in a school as the primary point? Now we are looking at the time that our students spend when they go to the rivers to go and uh, collect water and the kind of risks that they expose themselves. And Mushimi has just talked about kujaza mitungi na kujijaza pia when it comes to our guile child. Now those are some of the things that we are trying to address so that we reduce the risk and ensure that the retention level for our students in school are increased. Uh, we are able to have students uh, who are well hydrated, they concentrate well in school, and eventually we increase the performance of our students in school, which later on will have greater impact uh, to the community.